ready for the takeoff. I think I knocked my skull in. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. We have an exciting day today. We have Kyla, who's my wife. You guys hear me talk about her all the time. Here she is, real. So <laughs> she thinks that she can take a ride in this truck and not worry about anything. <laughs> the last truck she rode in that we ever did anything sketchy, we were in two wheel drive in an 800 horsepower mega cab. This is a four wheel drive, 1200 horsepower, boosted launch and then we're gonna see if she drives it at all um, and we'll show you guys kind of how the full manual valve body works I'm excited what do you think Kai I think I'll be fine oh you think so huh yes I've been in a roller coaster and well I'll be fine okay <laughs> all right so a lot of you guys are asking how this full manual valve body gets driven so you start in first gear go ahead get going and then you shift when you want to so 2200 second gear and you lock it out so that's second locked and then you go two three locked and then you'll do a three four locked and and that's it and then when you come to a stop obviously you want to unlock the converter drop overdrive and then you'll go three two one um i don't recommend going into first gear unless you're going like five miles per hour or less Anything more than that, it really jerks the truck. Um, you can break stuff that way, so just be really careful. But it's very, very simple. Uh, we're even gonna show Kyle how to do it. Can you cut this all out? <laughs> all my like maneuvers. I feel like I'm unprepared. I have uh -huh. heels on. I can't even brace myself. Okay. We'll just go up there and make sure. <laughs> Ready? Are you ready? I'm ready. I'll be fine. We went UTVing all day today and I dealt with your crazy driving. Fine. How fast did we go a couple minutes ago? It felt like oh, it was 60. <laughs> How fast are we going now? Um, we'll be probably somewhere near 120. So, Kai, how do you feel about all the truck parts that we purchased? Like big fans, <laughs> not a big fan. I don't mind all the truck parts. I just don't like all the time oh. that you're away. So we should still make this deal. Whatever you spend on truck parts, that's how much we gotta spend on family time. Like vacation, Hawaii, Bahamas, <laughs> something. And now you Bora Bora. Now you guys are just getting into a glimpse of how wide <laughs> we don't have a pro mod. We just have two street trucks because apparently Bora Bora is on the list of places to go. Yes. Alright, here's the road where we normally do our... It's so sunny. It's, well, we're going to go flip it around. Alright, you want windows up or down? We may die. <laughs> don't I need a helmet or something? Uh, if we were on a racetrack. Oh my god. Alright guys, we'll try a 15 pound launch. After that pull, we went to do another pull. Coolant temp was really high. Um, we saw it had some blow by. Uh, the coolant reservoir is 
pretty empty. <sighs> and there's some coolant. I'm pretty sure we popped the gasket again. There's stuff here. It's got some blow by. But all in all, huge shout out to the to the wife for coming in clutch. Sorry. And she broke we it. We broke it. I'm sorry. So anyway, it kind of forces your hand on building the new motor. I kind of got everything. I just been really lazy because this thing's been just taking it like a champ. Uh guess we're gonna have to build a motor this week and probably next week get it dropped in uh, i got like i said i have everything for it i've just been kind of lazy and enjoying this so i guess we'll have some more 05 content and now the motor build on the 07 officially is underway uh after this happened we drove it about four miles so i wouldn't say it's completely broke down but something is pissed so we ended it with my wife um with it broken i realized i left you guys hanging so my apologies i'll splice this in here for y'all a little windy today but anyway uh all the coolant's gone uh, looks like there's oil in there uh very windy today so i apologize i think what happened i think we butted a ring and from there we probably blew the head gasket um it runs way too smooth to have a hole in the block in my opinion. So I'll fire this up, let you guys check out the blow by. But I mean, it, it runs so good still. Like, <laughs> like nothing's wrong. You guys see how the oil level is like, a gallon too high. I think I know what happened. <coughs> Excuse me. I've done this before. I think what we're gonna find is one of the freeze plugs blew out of this cylinder head here. I'm almost willing to bet money. Now, that probably means the head gasket let go, um, which sucks, but uh, I'm gonna see, we'll pull the valve cover off uh, and see what, what happens. Low coolant, uh, coolant in the oil, runs great. Uh, I have seen a crack block, but when that happened to Gordon, it did run a little rougher. I mean, that thing fired right up. I mean, you guys saw it like stone cold, fired right up. I have seen this happen before though, <coughs> with this truck here. Uh, what it ended up being is the freeze plug blew out. So I think what I'm gonna do is pull the valve cover off and see. Uh, either way, it's definitely time for a new engine. Um, that thing obviously is pissed. It's been leaking oil since I bought it. Um, and it's made great power, way more than I ever thought it was gonna make. So I think we'll close the chapter on this bad Larry here. Um, but with all the blow by I saw yesterday, Hmm. Either that was coolant getting in, but it had a lot of pressurization. I don't know. It's a weird one, guys. I think we'll find probably a broken ring and a blown freeze plug, probably a blown head gasket. Because I'm guessing when the head gasket blew, all the cylinder pressure came in and pushed that freeze plug out. So I think third gear to overdrive, butted a ring, blew the gasket, pressurized the cooling system. Blew that freeze plug out. We'll do a full teardown on this. Um, again, I just didn't want to leave you guys hanging. I realized we, we had dinner reservations and stuff, so I wanted to end that one quick. But my wife's a trooper. This truck's a trooper. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this content. We'll go ahead, get it torn down with a full inspection. Walk you guys through building the new engine. So hopefully you guys like this video. Go ahead, drop a comment on what you think about my wife's reaction. She is definitely a trooper. Make sure you subscribe. Motor build coming for the 07. More engine braking for the 05. As always, guys, I'll catch you on the next one.